I vividly remember what I wanted to be when I grew up. A pilot. Of course, I didn't become one, but I didn't fall so far away either. I ended up becoming a medical doctor. Now, why not so far away, you might ask? Because growing up in primary school, most of us wanted to become either a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, a pilot, or an accountant. And having received a scholarship from my university, never did I ever think that I would end up an actual chicken farmer. During my university days at medical school, it was clear to me that I would not take the usual path a medical doctor is expected to take. It was clear in my mind that I was starting to develop a rebellious person in me. There I was, a young medical student with plans of retiring from my medical practice by age 35, when most of my peers would have become specialists and be earning their very best salaries. University for me wasn't always all about medicine, and I always tried to push myself to acquire as many additional skills as I could. Computer graphic design had always intrigued me, and I spent a lot of my free time using the resources available to me to help me hone my skills better. This interest later spilled over into videography, even if I didn't get to personally own a camera until many years later. Thinking back now, I clearly remember one of our teachers telling us very plainly, you have not yet started to learn. I'm just teaching you how to learn. And it was that day that I knew that the whole idea of school was simply to teach us how to learn, and that the information we've acquired is not all that there is from us, or for us. From that day, I knew that I can learn anything as long as I've got my brain trained on how to learn. I had completely no idea that these totally unrelated skills were preparing me for a very unexpected future. Finally, in 2016, the day of graduation came and I became the very first medical doctor in my clan, Bashiba Lai. Unfortunately, I quickly learned that in Uganda, medical practitioners are not paid as well as in most other parts of the world. And so began my quest of learning how to earn a little extra income through different means. I was introduced by a mutual friend to a horticulturalist who I soon hired to help me set up a small scale garden. And over the coming days, we spent hours talking about how and what I should grow. But the most interesting thing about this exchange came just before he finished and left. He literally said to me, I think you will have better results doing chicken farming. Which made me wonder why we had spent the past few days talking about gardens. Well, over the past, over the next few months, I spent day and night reading and researching about chicken farming. And I found that my interest and passion in the topic grew very exponentially. Despite the fact that the correct information was ridiculously hard to come by. Ultimately, though, I was convinced that I had found the light. Having convinced my father to let me use a small section of his inherited land, I quickly used up all of my savings. I found that I could work with chickens for hours nonstop. And it wasn't unusual for me to get out my guitar or ukulele and sing out to the birds. But there was always something that bothered me at the back of my mind. Why was it that I had managed to come this far? But none of the people I knew had actually managed to achieve owning a chicken farm. It got me thinking, having the funds wasn't the only hurdle. For me, the hardest bit was actually getting all of the required information together. Having had this epiphany and already having started a consultancy program for chicken farming, I knew that I had to start a YouTube channel, which I actually did just under a year ago, naming the channel Farm Up. And I believe this was the pivotal moment in my farming career, considering this single act exposed me to others with the same passion as me, and it brought me great joy sharing in their successes. On my Farm Up channel, I took the approach of not only sharing my successes, 
but also sharing my losses. And I believe this is what helped me to grow to over 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. Then came the unbelievable thought. What if I quit my full-time job as a medical doctor and spend more time on the farm doing what I'm interested and passionate about? At first, it felt like an impossible choice, you know? I'd spent most of my adult life either studying or practicing medicine. I tried to run through the different scenarios in my head. What would my friends and family say? What if it's a mistake? But the more I thought about it, the more it seemed to imprint in my brain. The only hurdle I could personally think about would be people's expectations. Now, without growing up in a society like mine, it's difficult to understand the prestige that comes with the title, doctor. You'll always be given a seat at the front of any community event, serve the very best food, and it's no secret that compared to most other professions, doctors earn a relatively better pay. For me though, the pay and the prestige did not outweigh my passion. It was in the midst of all this that I encountered a book entitled The Top Five Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware. She had worked in the palliative care field for quite a number of years, and from her experience had noted that the most common regret of the dying was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life others expected of me. And whilst it might not be scientifically proven that this is the most common regret in life, I personally have lived a life of trying to avoid regrets and would certainly not want to encounter this in my latter days of life. Recently, I decided to resign from my job as a doctor and chose to pursue my life as a full-time farmer. This, according to most people that I've now told, was such a crazy decision that they would never ever risk taking. Many think that it was such a difficult decision for me to make including my parents, who I of course told of the decision, but that was after I'd implemented it. For me, it was such an easy decision to make because to me, all that mattered was happiness. Now, Bronnie Ware in her book also notes that another of the most common regrets of the dying was, I wish I had let myself be happier. And for me, I find lots of joy and happiness in being free, spreading my wings, and chasing my passions. I've been able to impact the world through not only sharing with them ideas about poultry farming, but also letting them know and believe that it's possible to step out of society's expectations, chase your dreams and passions, and actually be successful. In the end, there is no absolute definition for success, right? It's all relative. And my parents, just like everyone else close to me in my life, have come to appreciate the opportunities, the joy, and the positive impact that my decision has created. And they have come to accept the beauty of a well thought out, passionate decision. I continue to live chasing my dreams, and I always encourage everyone to step out of their passing limitations, if only for a while. And you never know, it might be as life changing for you as it was for me. Like I always say on my farm up channel, thanks for listening. Lots of love. Bye bye.